Hi, I'm Steve Bookbinder. I'm often asked by sales managers, how do I leverage my very best salesperson? How do I get the rest of the team to be inspired, to be as good, or, or try to top that person? thing we have to decide is, is that top salesperson also a model of what we want on our team? Assuming that they are, that they're the also not only uh, outselling everybody, but they're also using the right form of administration, they're following all the right protocols, all the business rules, they're doing everything that we want everybody to do, they're doing them and they're doing them better. That's one scenario. Sometimes the best salesperson, however, is doing things which are the opposite of what you've told everybody else to do. So we have to resolve that first. Assuming that the salesperson is the right behavioral model, then what we want to do is the following things. One, get that salesperson involved with the rest of the team. Get them in meetings teaching the others, teaching the others. Why? Because teaching accelerates learning. As they deliver their message with their passion, and of course the proof of their, uh, uh, that their method works is that their sales are so good, they have the buy-in of the team, the respect of the team, and if nobody else learns anything, they will learn more about that thing which they're very good at. And it shows respect for that person, and it's a great message to the other salespeople that if they, in fact, model great behavior, they'll be the ones in front of the room teaching the others. So there's that. I would also encourage people to look at not what is that successful salesperson doing this second, but what did they do when they first started? Because trying to model somebody who's a 20-year veteran successful person by looking at what they're doing today isn't going to help me if I just started. I have to look at, well, what did they do 20 years ago and 10 years ago and five years ago? What are the kind of things they do at the beginning of the year? What are the kind of things they do in the beginning of the morning that make their days successful and they put a number of successful days in a row? So as we start to understand the process, sales isn't about closing sales. Sales is about opening sales. Sales is about fi figuring out who the right person to reach out to in the first place. Sales is about preparing mentally for every meeting. And that's something that we can teach our salespeople to do by modeling the best, most thoughtful, most successful salespeople. If we could do that, we could leverage our best salespeople and bring the C and B sellers up to B plus and A.